If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code INCEPTION at checkout. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. So another defender review. So for this, we're going to have to uh, try out a tactic as well. Otherwise, it's kind of waste of time in the content creator side of things. Um, okay, so Toady Bow. By the way, his transfer market reviews will probably be back at it for, um, for foot birthday, I would say. I think foot birthday would probably be uh, more consistent on those bad boys. But yeah. Uh, for Toadie Ball, six foot three, medium high work rates, three star, three star capabilities, mostly lengthy right footed player. Uh, play styles. I mean, he's looking pretty good. Jockey, block, intercept plus is a really, really good play style. W play style for the defense. Really good. Uh, anticipate and bruiser. No sly tackle. Couldn't care less about not having sly tackle. The other ones are the are way more important to work with. Uh, rapid and long ball pass. He also has long ball pass. This if if this guy performs well in game, this could be a solid SPC. I don't know where the dislikes are coming from. From is it because he's injured again? Because people were telling me telling me the same thing for the Herrera card. So I could it could well be that. Honestly, it could well be that. But this card as of right now, shadow on a mostly lengthy, really good pace, really good defense. The value of the SPC at 200k is looking pretty saucy. But he might be injured. I think that's why they might be. Uh, doing all that upgrades on this card clean sheets one in the next four club wins two player makes three appearances club scores 11 goals i mean honestly even if he gets like minimum two upgrades he's actually looking pretty decent um this car we definitely have to provide a shadow to which i probably do not have yeah i gotta go buy that afterwards um but yeah no good play styles for sure his reactions and composure is on the lower side, so I'm curious to see how that's going to perform in game. Um, and then his physical, to be fair, is actually in a pretty good spot too. So it looks like an interesting one, man. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go get the shadow. I'm going to put it on the card, and we'll see how he plays in game. Composure, lads. Composure. <laughs> uh dude i'm telling you you need play styles to like do certain things like aerial with a power header you know, for consistency it's not to say you can't do it at all but i'm saying for consistency for a higher consistency excuse me good 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 stuff Nice. Uh, see it right there. Ah, uh, you know what? Because he has long ball pass, I probably could have tried that with him there, huh? Nice block. See, it's all play styles in this game, man. It's all play styles, dude. Surprised he didn't get an intercept there, eh? I feel like that one he probably w would, you know? No, he'll get to that. Oh, that counts as an intercept. See, it's all it's the positioning and stuff, man. I was like, is that, is that like an aerial? <laughs> I was like thinking, all that low. What's going on here? Oh, didn't mean to do that. Good, 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 good. Intercept, yeah. Positioning is good there.
Oh, he tracked back well enough there. Nice block. I used the advanced defense just to get in the get in the way there. That's good. Second man press worked out well enough there. I just have to be careful of his uh, dribbling on the ball. He does have like that emphasis. No slide challenge, no slide tackle play style, but still hits those bad boys. That's why I don't care about giving him a play style. Like that stuff, I don't, I don't really care about. That's a pass too. See, th those count as interceptions. That's why that play style is crazy, bro. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Second man press, got possession, but you know. That's a clearance. Oh, I didn't get it. Ooh. And that was me actually like clearing it too. It wasn't a pass. Because if it's a pass, then I'd be like, oh, this clearance is not that crazy, but. That's where an aerial would be really nice, right? Block. It's all about the play styles, man. If I don't have block, I don't even think he does that animation. I'm going to be honest. Thank you. Oh, that went through his legs, though. Oof. He greened that, I would have been cooked. I actually tackled that one, too. I wonder if I would just stood still if it actually would have done something. Here we go, in the clearance again. That one, he's ahead, so I don't really blame him for that one too much. Yeah, see, the play styles are nice, man, for him. What just happened? That was a ball roll, by the way, so I don't know what just happened right there. All done. I always try to go for that specific play there, so... There we go. The thing about Intercept Plus is that look, you see Bade with the touch there. Just letting you know. Um, the thing about Intercept Plus is that when you're manually defending, you actually get rewarded for it too. That's like the, that's a big thing as well. On a white, you miss Mbappe. Wow, that's crazy. I, I feel like I'm facing the angle there nicely, and it's Mbappe, like, you know, I have to hit a green there, I guess. Nice, Toddy Ball. Oh, I wish I got rewarded for that. But no chance, though, no chance. The challenge. Nice. Oh man, that's team of the year Ronaldo, I think, because that's insane that he even gets to that. Oh, almost. All right. <laughs> they missed time that a bit. This guy's like a, an actual sweat by, sweat, by the way. So, you know, it's actually fun to play a sweat but actually be able to play properly. I'll take the switch there. <laughs> I 
<laughs> That's why you gotta go for a clearance, man. I, I, you have to be very careful with that with Tony Bo. Like, when he wins possession of the ball and he has to move, like, that, the movement part is so emphasized, man. Like, that's the reason why you can see there for the most part. Nice. Play styles are actually noticeable on him. I, you know, I've tried out players like MTT in the past who has like a bunch of play styles. And... Ugh, I should have passed the other guy there. And it just doesn't really like hit, you know? With him, it's actually like you actually notice it. Oh man, I try to like... I try to like clear it, you know? But... <sighs> Didn't get much there. There we go. Nicely done. Oh, it worked out there. You see? Okay, guys, so final verdict on the Toady Bowl card. So, guys, just uh, food for thought when it comes to him specifically. There's a comment that I've seen here. Um, this one, right? So, don't do him now. They are still yet to play two league games before he expires. Um, so, you can kind of wait and see if he ends up getting some decent upgrades, apparently, right? So, be sure to check that out uh, when it comes to the games that uh, Nice are going to be playing, okay? So, a couple things to mention with this card uh, when it comes down to the meta of it. For me, guys, you guys know how I feel about defenders. I will always go absolute full meta if I'm being serious in this game because when you don't have full meta, these cards are super, super sus to play with. Now, generally speaking, every play style that this card has is actually noticeable in the game. I'm going to show you guys a card, right? It's this card right here, Samuel MTT. This card, right, has all of the play styles. Jockey, block, intercept, anticipate, bruiser, aerial, Blah, blah, right? This card, I, if you told me he had none of them, I would believe you, you know, because with him, TT, I, for me personally, and I, and you guys know, because I actually got him on the RTG account and I used him for a bit. I mean, dude, honestly, when you're using like defenders and stuff, like even with anybody, sometimes you could tell in the first game, like whether the guy like actually does stuff or not, right? And with him, TT, I was like, you know, I'll try him four or five games in the RTG, didn't do anything, bro. I'm not even kidding. I'm like, I'm never using this card again. And rightfully so, because the card never grew in transfer market value, even over the course of time, because he just doesn't feel that special, right? Maybe if he gets a team of the season, if he plays, I don't know if he does, right? Maybe if he gets a team of the season, then, you know, who knows, right? This card, it's different. The play styles are actually very noticeable on all of them with him, right? Bruiser, Anticipate, Block, Jockey, Long Ball Pass, Intercept Plus. I was able to utilize every single one of those play styles on this card. Now, one thing that I do have to mention when it comes to this card is you have to be very, very careful with the dribbling of it, right? And the dribbling is not necessarily the on the ball dribbling, but it's also the off the ball stuff too. Like when he receives possession of the ball, he will add emphasis when you don't really want that emphasis. You want to be able to kind of like move out of positions really quickly. But that's like the main thing, right? It's just like the dribbling of the card um, on and off the ball that's going to be weird from time to time, right? You have to be like very mindful of that with him, right? But, I mean, guys, listen, man, the card's actually pretty good, to be honest with you. I actually enjoyed using him. Um, I think on the Shadow Chemistry style, especially in the meta of this gameplay, a mostly lengthy player that has high pace, good defense, that could potentially improve even further in the future uh, with the four potential improvements. I think for 200k, like, he's looking pretty decent. I do agree with that guy in the comment section, though, for Footbin, that uh, you should definitely check out first two games to kind of like feel it out a little bit but if he gets those first two games guys and he gets those improvements it's a card worth looking into 200k is actually not bad value from what i'm seeing from a base perspective on this card like the italian guy didn't i i, I can't see his base things but he could be really good in the future because again he could drop that special sauce on these cards right but with this one i can actually see the base stuff so it's worth looking into. If he gets the if if they do well in the first two games, look into this card. Okay, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.